We are here at the beautiful Trolley 5 and we're hanging out with Chef Miles now. Chef Miles, it's pizza time. Yep. Pizza week right around the corner. We're getting everybody set and you get to show off a little bit here and tell us what you've created. Yeah, so we've done kind of our, our own take on uh, pig overload pizza and we've okay. done, uh, we've got some local Copa ham, okay. um, some buffalo mozzarella and then we've made fresh chicharron as well out of uh, local pork skin. Really? Yeah. How do you make that? Um, so we dehydrate it overnight mm -hmm. um, in the oven, takes about six, seven hours. Okay. Uh, cut it up nice and thin and then defry it until it pops. Oh, wow. Yeah. And so it's kind of a crunchy kind Yeah, of... just a little garnish for the pizza, just to give it a little crunch on top afterwards. Okay, okay, yeah. perfect. Well, I'll let you get started here. You show us the way to assemble this beauty. Sure. So we've kind of taken our barbecue methods and put it into this pizza a little bit. We've okay. smoked off some tomatoes um, about a half hour okay. in the smoker just to give it a light smoke and a little bit more flavor here. Okay. Um, and then just puree it down to make the tomato sauce. Oh, it smells so good. And we're just gonna take about three, maybe four ounces on top okay. to start off the pizza. I'll do a little bit more here. So is there, what else is in that sauce? Is it secret or is it uh, just no, pretty it's much not tomato? Secret, but uh, <laughs> we do buy a high quality tomato. It's San Marzano tomato, okay. so it's coming from Italy. And then we also use some fresh romas as well, oh, and okay. that's where the smoking comes okay. in. Um, next, I have our uh, shaved copa ham. Okay. So this one is made by a local butcher and um, just cured for about two months, dried out, and uh, sliced super thin. So you can see it's kind of glistening too. It's got a lot of fat in it, lots of flavor. And we're just gonna make a single layer of the copa ham. Okay. Is less more in this case? In the this case, ham? yeah, yep. because it can it is salted and it is oh, cured. Okay. So okay. you know, too much might uh, might be a little too salty okay. for you. I don't know if there's any such thing as too salty, but I'll take your word for it. <laughs> So we'll do one more slice here in the middle. Okay. Nice coverage there. Oh, that looks good. Perfect. Okay, now next we've got some buffalo mozzarella. So this is a Canadian buffalo mozzarella. Okay. Um, and all we've done, they come in nice big, big balls, big balls there. <laughs> and we just sliced it a little bit thinner. Okay. And we're not going to do too much of this right. as it kind of lets out over the pizza okay. and it'll, it'll melt all over. So. more in the middle. Beauty. Next, we've taken some fresh Brussels sprouts and we've just taken the outer leaves off. Okay. And blanched them off for about about a minute or two just to... Give it that bright, bright green. Yeah, pretty exactly. Color. And then uh, we're going to put them on top whole like this and it'll kind of roast up and crisp up in the oven as well. Okay. So this one we kind of go a bit heavy on and we're doing this as well. Brussels are coming into season so it's kind of nice to be able to utilize them Right. in this feature pizza okay because it's not something we normally have on the menu right okay. so it'll go pretty heavy now if your mom's always telling you to eat your brussels sprouts this is the way to eat brussels sprouts if you ask me okay so okay. brussels sprouts and then finally before cooking we're just gonna put a little bit of mozzarella on okay. and kind of bring everything in and hold the pizza together all the top and on there. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if we can cook that. It's kind of like a work of art there, Miles. <laughs> well, it's even more of a work of art when it comes out. <laughs> um, and then the pizza's ready to go in the oven. Okay. Cook it for about uh, 18 to 20 minutes. It okay. does take quite a while for the crust, okay. but you get that nice crunchy, crisp crust. Perfect, and then we throw these bad boys yeah. on after? Yeah, and then okay. the chicharrones, they'll go on after for a garnish, and then we'll cut the pizza in. Do you just put them on because it's fun to say, chicharrones? Yeah. Yeah. Basically. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, when we come back, we are going to, uh, maybe we'll grab some of the girls here and we'll take a, take a little taste and see how exactly what Miles has created for Pizza Week. We're back with more right after this.